All right, so we are starting logarithms today, and this is going to be our last unit. It's going to be split into two different units, but it's going to be a little bit tricky. So just try to stick with it. This might be a good unit for you to go back and watch some of the notes that we do in class or, you know, check your answers on your homework or something like that. So what is a logarithm? Logarithm is really just exponents. So it's exponents to which a specified base is raised to obtain a given value. Okay, so when you look at something with an exponent like this, we have some base b raised to a power is equal to some number. So for example, I could take 2, raise it to the third power, and that equals 8. 2 is the base, 3 is the power, and it's equal to some value. So what we can do with that is you can rewrite that exponential as a logarithmic equation. Okay, so if you notice, the base in the exponential equation is the base in the logarithmic equation. So if I was going to write this one, the base was 2, so the base here is 2. Now it's a little bit backwards here because the value that we got here is going to go in for that a, and it's equal to the power. So what we're going to do today, basically, we're going to focus on taking exponentials like this and rewriting it in logarithmic equations or logarithmic form and vice versa. We're going to go kind of back and forth. Okay, so if I was converting this exponential, there's a 3 there. If I was converting this exponential to logarithmic form, okay, so we write log. The base here is 3, so the base is what's being raised to the power. So the base is 3, and then what it equals to goes here, and that equals the power. Okay, so again, the base is the 3, so the base here is 3. It, the value goes next, and then equals the power. Okay, so on this one, we know that 5 squared, or we could call it x, sorry, we'll call it x, 5 to some power equals 25. So again, we take the base, which is 5, then we put the value, 25, and that's equal to the power x. Okay, this next one, we write log, the base is 10, then we write what it equals, the value, 10,000, and then that equals the power, which is 4. 6 to the negative 1 equals, we don't know, so we'll call it x. So we write log, and then we put the base 6, equals the value, or sorry, this equals the value, so we put the value here, and that equals the power. So one thing you can look at is when you write this, it kind of goes in order. If you start at the 3 here and you go this way, you write 3 first, and then you write the 243, and then you write the 5. So that's what this, sometimes they call it circle math. I just try to look at it the pattern, but the main thing to remember is the base here, so if I was writing this one, the base is A, then the value comes next, and that equals the power, which is b. So let's write these exponential equations in logarithmic form. The base is the 3, then I put what it equals, the 27, and that's equal to the power. So we, call, we, we read this as log base 3 of 27 equals 3. So this next one, we would say log base 3 of 1 over 9 equals negative 2. And the third one, log base 2 of 16 equals the power, which is 4. Okay, so now let's go the other way. So sometimes people think this one's the easier way. There's a little 9 right there. It's just really hard to see. Okay, so exponential equation. We always start with the base. We raise it to the power, and it equals the value. Now this one is one I always use this little pattern. So start with the base and go to the right and then that equals the value. So 9 to the first power equals 9. And make sure that it works. When you, if you were to do 9 to the first power, does it even equal 9? If not, then you wrote something wrong from here to here. Okay, so this next one, start at the base. 2 to the ninth power equals 512. Okay, this next one, we don't know what this is. You can put a question mark, you could put x. So again, though, we still start at the base. 8 to what power equals our value 2? On this one, again, you could put a question mark. We're trying to figure out 4 to the negative 2 power. What does that equal? 
And then this last one, take the base, so b to the power of 0 equals 1. Now this one's important because a lot of people forget if I say, hey, what's 2 to the 0 power? A lot of people want to say 2 or 0, but it's not. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So I could do 2 to the 0. I could do 46 to the 0 power. It equals 1. I could do negative, not negative, sorry. I could do 1 half to the 0 power. It equals 1. It doesn't matter what you do. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Okay, so let's write these in exponential form. So start with the base. So 5 to the third power equals 125. 5 to the third power equals 125. Number 2, 10 to the negative 3 power equals 0 0.001. And number 3, 2 to the third equals 8. Okay, um, one thing to note here, common logarithms. A logarithm with a base of 10 is a common logarithm. So when you look through some of these problems here, you see the base, base of 4, base of 1 fourth, base of 2, base of 27. No base is written here. So if no base is written here, it is assumed to be a base of 10, and that's called a common logarithm. Okay, so we are going to evaluate each expression. So first thing you're going to do is, we're basically when you evaluate, we want to know what this thing equals. So we're going to say, okay, well it equals x, and we want to figure out what x equals. So we're going to set it into exponential form. So we're going to say 4 to what power equals 64? So 4 raised to what power gives us 64? Well, I know that if I do 4 to the third, I get 64, and let's double check that. 4 to the third power, I get 64. So that means that this whole thing, log base 4 of 64 equals 3. So logarithms is just another way of doing exponents. This is just saying 4 to what power gives me 64. Okay, number two. So set this equal to x because we're trying to figure out, well, what the heck does this equal? So I have 1 fourth to some power equals 16. Now this is a fraction here, but what I want you to look at it as, let's look at it as though it wasn't a fraction. 4 to what power equals 16? Well, you know that 4 squared is equal to 16. So the only difference here is that instead of a 4, it's a 1 fourth. So back when we did exponents, if I had um, like 1 over x squared, and I wanted you to always bring this to the top, the way we did that was it becomes a negative exponent. Or if I wrote, <clears throat> wrote it as a negative exponent, let's say x to the negative fourth, you always wanted to write positive exponents, so you would move it to the bottom, and it would be 1 over x to the fourth. Okay, so the same way here, we have this 1 fourth to some power equals 16. Well, if you know that 4 to the second is 16, then that means 1 fourth to the negative 2, or negative second power, is going to equal 16. So if you see a fraction in there, it means that your exponent is negative. And let's double check that and make sure we're right. So 1 fourth raised to the negative 2 power is 16. So what's nice about these is you can always check your answers. So we know 1 fourth to the negative 2 is 16. So that means log base 1 fourth of 16 equals negative 2. Okay, number 3. So we want to evaluate this. So let's set it up. 2 to what power equals 1 over 16? Now again, look at this as though it wasn't a fraction. 2 to what power equals 16? Well, let's check that out. 2 to the second is 4. 2 raised to the third is 8. 2 raised to the fourth is 16. So that means 2 to the fourth power equals 16. So now, because I have this fraction, 2 to the negative fourth should equal 1 over 16. So let's verify that. 2 to the negative fourth, uh, and I got some decimals, so I can press math, enter, enter, and I get 1 over 16, so it works. 
So log base 2 of 1 over 16 equals negative 4. Okay, we're going to skip number 4 because that's a little more advanced right now than I want to do. Let's go to number 5. So again, this is a common logarithm. So we're going to look at 10 to what power equals 0 0.01. Now, what I would recommend is changing this to a fraction. So in your calculator, you can put 0. Point, oops, 0 0.01, press math, enter, enter, and it's going to give you 1 over 100. So 10 to what power equals 1 over 100? Now, again, there's that fraction. So if you know that, or you're going to look at 10 to what power is 100. So if 10 to the second is 100, then that means 10 to the negative second is 1 over 100. So log base 10, but you don't have to write it, of 0 0.01 equals negative 2. Okay, number 6. Okay, number 6. So first thing you're going to do is set it equal to x. Start with your base. So 9 raised to what power equals 9 to the fifth? Now this one's a nice and easy one for you because the bases are the same here. So we just look at this top part and it just tells us that x equals 5. Or you could say log base 9 of 9 to the fifth equals 5. So either one, you could say x equals 5 or you can write out this whole thing here. Okay, we're going to skip number 7 also. Let's go to number 8. So first thing, set it equal to x. So 0 0.8 raised to what power equals 0 0.64? Now even though they're decimals, you can look at them as though they were whole numbers. So if I rewrite this as 8 to what power equals 64, we know that 8 squared equals 64. So even though there's decimals, it's okay. Don't let that confuse you. So let's check that. 0 0.8 raised to the second power equals 0.64. So we can say log base 0.8 of 0.64 equals 2. Number 9. Set this equal to x. And let's write it in our exponential form. So 4 to what power equals 1? Now this is that whole thing we talked about on that first page. Anytime you raise anything to the 0 power, no matter what, you're always going to get 1. So if you ever have any base raised to x and you're trying to figure out what, what gives you 1, it's always going to equal 0. So log base 4 of 1 equals 0. And the last one, set it equal to x. Put it in exponential form. So 7 raised to what power equals 1 over 49? Again, there's that fraction. So if you know 7 squared equals 49, all that means here is it's going to be a negative 2. So 7 to the negative 2 power equals 1 over 49. So we can write that as log base 7 of 1 over 49 equals negative 2.